up everybody, it's Renee, and welcome to my happy place, my patio. <laughs> this is my favorite spot in my entire house, and I thought what better atmosphere to talk about wellness than a place that makes me feel well. We are gonna cover topics on mind, body, and spirit health. So today is the mind, and it's all about body image. There's a plane driving by my apartment. Okay, today we're gonna to do an introduction to body image. Body image is a self-perception of how attractive or and desirable that we are. The reason why I wanted to start off with this is because what motivates a lot of people to start getting in better shape, to start exercising more, to eating better and all that kind of stuff is because they want to perceive themselves as attractive, more attractive or more desirable and they believe that changing their body will help them accomplish that unfortunately a lot of people have negative views of themselves they perceive themselves as not attractive they perceive themselves as not desirable and that can do a lot of harm to our psyche body image is really important because it impacts our self-esteem which dives right into our perception of our self-worth. I know you're thinking, well, maybe that's not really body image, but here's the thing. Body image and self-esteem, they're sisters. They're almost like twin sisters. It's not that they are the same. They affect each other so much. They roll together. So if one is high, the other is high. If one is low, the other one is probably low in a lot of areas, not in every area, but in a lot of ways, they roll together. Not only that, but it's also connected to how we treat ourselves and how we allow other people to treat us. Can you think of a time where you felt like someone was only being treated a certain way because of how attractive they were? A lot of people call this pretty privilege, right? And on the outside looking in, it's like, oh, they're only treating her like that because she looks the way that she looks and that is her value. If she didn't look like that, they wouldn't treat her that way. But in reality, if you believe that you're not worthy of that treatment, you will actually reject it. When someone gives you any kind of attention, you will self-deprecate yourself. They'll say, oh no, you know, I'm sure you're just kidding or ha ha, very funny. You'll try to like laugh it off. You'll, you'll say, oh, you know, no, 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 that's, that's not necessary, that's not for me. And you'll go into all these reasons why you don't deserve proper, happy, well-meaning, positive treatment. Well, that's because on the inside, you don't think you deserve it. Partially because you might have a negative body image. Let's talk a little bit about how body image manifests. Um, so a positive way that you'll see a healthy body image manifest in your life is confidence. If you believe in yourself, if you believe in your abilities, that is confidence. And that is linked to your body image because you're like, look what my body can do. Look what I can do with my mind. Look what I can do with my hands. Look what I can do with my voice. These are all parts of your body. I know you don't usually think about it that way, but they are. And if you have confidence in those things, that is linked directly to a healthy body image. You think positive and you feel positive things because you're like, look what I can do. Poor body image would say, I, shouldn't be considered for this because I can't do it like this person. So comparison comes up. All these aspects that make you feel like, man, mm, yeah, I can't do this. That could be linked to a negative body image because you don't see yourself as capable. Let's go back to the self-treatment and self-worth. If you have positive body image, you don't mind splurging on yourself. You don't mind saying, yeah, I'm gonna upgrade my nail treatment. My nails need done right now. You just say, I deserve it because you know you're worth it. Negative spin is you don't spend money on yourself. You don't spend time on yourself. You don't spend time doing the things that would nurture yourself because you don't think you deserve it. So for example, me being a mom and a wife, what I 
realized this last year, when it comes down to my husband and when it comes down to my daughter, whenever we went shopping, I would get them the best of the best. We'd go to the store and I'd easily spend like $400 on my husband and not blink and be like, yeah, babe, that blazer looks hot on you. Get some shoes to match. Yeah, we don't want those little cheapos. We want the best of the best. So when you step out, fly than a mother. Same thing with my daughter. Go to the store, like, oh my God, I love that skirt. How much is it? Oh, it's $40, I want it. That doesn't seem like a lot, but when you're, when you're a parent, you know how much kids grow. You may not be spending $40 on one single skirt. You might be like, oh, we're gonna go here and get five for 40 instead of one. But it was never a problem because I saw them as worthy and valuable and, and deserving. But then when it was time for, to shop for myself, I always went to the, like the $7.99 store. You know those stores in the mall and everything is like $7.99 between like seven to $10. That is the store that I took myself to. But it's crazy, I just spent money on the family. I just spent over $400 on the family for them. But when it came to me, I'm only worth $7.99? What the French toast? Prime example of when I had low self-worth, low self-esteem because I didn't think I was worth it. Now let's talk about external treatment. You know, if you have a healthy body image and healthy self-esteem, then you're not gonna allow people to treat you like dirt. You're gonna set boundaries and you're gonna make sure that people respect those boundaries because you know you are deserving of respect. If you have low body image, then you might say, oh, I'm not pretty, so, you know, I'm not gonna allow you to do things that might be romantic or, you know, glamorous because I'm not deserving, but you are. That's why having a healthy body image is super important because you want to be able to validate yourself, to honor yourself and build upon your own self-worth internally so that you're not relying on the external. So here are some best practices to help you raise your body image in general. The first one is to appreciate, take time to appreciate your strengths. Remind yourself how amazing you are. Like literally make a list of all the things that you are able to do. They can be minor from, you know, hey, I can clean a house like nobody's business. And maybe that's not minor for you. Maybe that is like the thing. Look at Marie Kondo. She can organize like nobody's business. And now she's a freaking millionaire. So don't under undervalue all of your talents and strengths really see them for what they are. All the things that make you an amazing person. Make a giant list, keep listing, 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 and as you go throughout your day, keep adding to that list as you are aware, you know, and mindful of what you're doing throughout the day so that you can look at that list later and be like, I'm fabulous. Secondly, remember that your body is an instrument, not an ornament. This one is really important because like I said, a lot of people turn to fitness because they're trying to make their body look a certain way. But your body is not here for aesthetics. It's really not. That is literally just a bonus perk. That is a bonus perk of being alive. People get to look at you and you get to look at you. But your body is here to serve. Your body is here to serve you and whatever you are to do with it, okay? Whatever you are to experience, it allows you to experience life and it allows other people to experience being with you. And the third tip is to be very mindful about what you expose yourself to concerning your body. First thing that pops up in my mind, media. Make sure that you're not following people online who make you feel bad about yourself. Not that that's their intention, but if you have someone that you follow online and you automatically start doubting yourself and you automatically start comparing your body to their body, especially in a negative way, you probably shouldn't follow them because it's not healthy for you. Think about the people you are around, so the people you expose yourself to. Are you exposing yourself to people who are constantly obsessing about what they're eating or constantly obsessing about how many times they go to the gym or you know whatever the case may be concerning the body if it makes you feel a certain type of way guilty not up to par bad whatever these negative feelings are you probably want to limit your exposure to those people as well you really want to take stock about what you're letting in because that can all impact what you're telling yourself here concerning your body. You know, that is the mental conversation that you're having unconsciously 
based on all the things that you're picking up in your everyday life. So you really, really want to be mindful about what you're taking in. That is the end of our talk today. So I have a little gift for you guys. If you go down into the description, there is a link to a free wallpaper that I designed. Tell me in the comments, guys, what makes you feel attractive and desirable? I want to know. Thank you so much for being here today. Be sure to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this conversation. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to be notified of more videos from Strut Majorette Dance Fitness. I'm Janae. Hey. Carry with my eyes blurred. I don't ever miss, I ain't never worried now. I hear everything to throw up. I'll be ballin'.